Okay, so I prepared a couple more test wires. These were from a 14.3 cable. And what we're going to do is use them to see what happens if we massively overload a MAR connector. So the first thing I'll do is we'll do a connection where we've nicely twisted the cables together. Hopefully you can see that. That's probably a good twist. And a nice tight mar connector. And maybe what we'll do is we'll just sort of keep the cables apart here so if the insulation melts we don't end up with current skipping the MAR connector. So that's the first one. The second one will do much the same way, but we won't twist the wires together before putting on the connector. We'll just cut them to the same length and we'll put the connector on like that and see if it makes any sort of difference. So let's try it. So we're set up with the twisted wire under the MAR connector and I have the ammeter set up so we can hopefully see the current and here goes the full might of the arc welder 200 odd amps probably. Quite amazingly, it looks like the MAR connector survived. Let's see what it looks like. The MAR connector is slightly melted, but largely survived. And the cable is still twisted together. The inner sort of screw thread spring of the connector is still on the wire. So let's see what the end of the wire looks like. And it's in amazingly good shape. And it's nice and clean. So once again, the MAR connector did an incredible job. So we will now repeat the experiment with the MAR connector where the wires are not twisted and see what happens. Here goes. So let's see what the MAR connector looks like. Oh, it's quite melted, much more so than the other one. And it's also smellier. It has its own smell to it. And let's see what's under here. Well, the interesting thing is there is a lot of black, probably plastic fumes or plastic remnants on the connection. So it's hard to say for sure, but I would say this connector did not do nearly as well as this one, where in the end, this connection that was twisted is almost as good as before the destructive test, whereas, whereas this one here, the wires are clearly singed. It certainly has shown that 
twisting the wires together before using a wire nut or mar connector is the thing to do. It produces a very good connection, amazingly good, and so good that, well, it really shows that wire nuts are an excellent way of connecting wires together and no need to go to more modern fancier connectors that might be more expensive unless there is some other practical aspect that makes them easier to use perhaps in a confined space or something like that. That brings these experiments to an end. See you next time.